Hi, welcome to my channel, Organized with Joy. In today's video, I just wanted to share a couple of things with you. The first thing I wanted to share is that last week I hit 300 subscribers and so I wanted to thank you all so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for all of you who like my videos, who engage with my videos by posting comments and I just wanted to let you all know how much I appreciate each and every one of you and I love getting to know all of you, so continue to make comments in the comments so I can get to know you. The other thing that I wanted to share is just an encouragement to you that you can do hard things. So my sister has said this a lot, my older sister Heather, she has been such an inspiration to me and she's always been a cheerleader for me my entire life. She's always spurred me on and encouraged me to do the things that I love to do but also to do hard things. And if you would have told me two years ago that I was going to start my own business, that I was going to start a YouTube channel, I would have laughed. I would have been like, there's no way I can do that. I had so much fear about all of that and fear of failure. And I just wanted to encourage you today that if there is something that is on your radar, something that you want to do, but you have fears about taking those steps of faith and just pushing through and doing it, I would encourage you to just do it. It is so amazing once you get over that hump and you do that first thing, the first video I posted or the first client that I worked with, it's always so scary, those first steps, but then you start realizing how amazing it is and you're so happy that you took those first steps. I think in our culture, at least in America, we have this comfort culture where we don't want to step outside of our comfort zone and it's easy to just kind of keep rolling with life and just doing the thing that is comfortable and easy. But I just wanted to encourage you today that it is good to step outside of your comfort zone and to do hard things. I wanted to share a story with you about doing hard things. Um, I have ran four half marathons, and yes, that is a hard thing. But several years ago when I was training for a half marathon, I got sick and I didn't realize I was sick. I wasn't feeling great, but on my to-do list that day was to run an eight mile run. and. I remember thinking, I just don't think I can do this. I'm so exhausted. And because I'm tenacious and a perfectionist, I'm like, I'm going to do this. And so I went out and ran. My kids were in school. And so I was you know, doing this eight mile run while they were at school. And I got home that morning after that run and I just felt totally wiped out. I took a shower and laid down in bed and I did not wake up until it was time to go pick up my kids from school. And that weekend I progressively got worse and was feeling more sick, ended up going to after hours care and finding out that I had shingles. I had run eight miles with shingles. Now, I don't recommend that. I recommend listening to your body and I've definitely got better at listening to my body, but the point of this story is that that was a very difficult thing to do. And in hindsight, I it's more difficult than I would have expected. Like if I would have known when I woke up that morning that I had shingles, I certainly would not have run that eight miles, but I just felt bad and I pushed through and I just kept going. So it's just a story to encourage you that even when things are really hard, even when your circumstances are totally against you, you can still do hard things. 
Well, thank you for watching this video today. I hope it did motivate you and inspire you. And I just wanted to let you know that you should follow me over on Instagram if you like this sort of content. I do post over on my stories similar content where I share some encouraging things with you. So please go follow me over there. And again, Thank you so much for the 300 subscribers. I so appreciate it. And if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, I would love for you to join us. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you don't miss any future content. Thanks, have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.